down our mailbox. Y'all, they took down our mailbox. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We have a house fire and we get the mailbox replaced. They, one of the workers accidentally plowed into it. We'll have a go. So, hey friends, welcome back. Okay, so what are we up to this morning, honey? We have a few minutes by ourselves. She's dragging me out to the granite place. Okay. Hey, we are. Oh, God, there's a car coming. We're going to die first. <laughs> we have this kind of intense intersection as you leave our. Oh, Lord, here comes another car. As you leave our neighborhood where you have to really pull out quick. So we are off. It's a little bit before lunchtime, and we are headed to a granite place that our cabinet guys are sending us to. Our cabinet should be delivered when? Next week? Within yeah. the next two weeks? Yeah. Within the next two weeks and we have not picked out granite to go on top. So online, I'm going to come this way because online we really like, or I should say I have really liked, it's called Sea Pearl Quartzite. But it's just based on a picture, so I don't know of seeing it in person, and I don't know the price point and everything that it will be. So we will look at that. We've got a huge island that is 12 feet, 10 feet. 10 it's 12. Feet. It's 12 foot by about 10 feet. So we're also not sure that they're going to have a slab big enough, so we'll have to pick out a slab potentially that we can have a seam in the middle. Um, but this is kind of, this is the last thing we have to pick out this big, right? first place and they had beautiful pieces but I could not picture any of them in our home. Could you? No, no I didn't. I wasn't a fan of it. It's just like what? what like if, you, if you look at a big slab they can be beautiful you know it's like looking at rock that's you know, God's creation, and they're really cool. Like, I like the ones that have depth to them, like the quartzite ones where you can, you know, it looks like you're looking at a crystal and stuff. Really, really pretty. But then they have ones that are just so busy. But then I go back and forth, like our walls are white. We really have a really neutral, outside of the Jade Dragon Green, y'all. <laughs> We really have a neutral canvas, so can it hold something, you know, of that nature where it it could be more of a bold print? We want to stay away from what we had just put countertops in. They're absolutely stunning right before the fire, which is so frustrating. But they were quartz, and they did stain. So we know after having those for about two years that the practicality of that, though lovely, was not for us. So. Did we even have them for two years? Was it two years? Um, I don't, maybe not. So I do like something, I mentioned Pearl, uh, Sea Pearl Quartzite, which she said is custom special order, which I don't like search for, show me the most expensive thing and that's what I'm gonna like on online. I think, I think you do. I really do. <laughs> it just seems. Show me and the then she had these thing. these two slabs at the beginning that were labeled exotic um, and they were just beautiful. They were so so pretty but I think that was like out of our price point for sure. We don't even have it's crazy to say we don't have a budget but our builder everything is so vague nothing is really concrete so we really don't know what we're looking at or what like where to stay we know the the dollar amount that we have were given based on what we had to replace but then inserting that into where we are with our current rebuild budget is all very vague uh, that's Lux Riviera it's really gray on the camera um, and also what colors you have in your 
kitchen to the Okay, I'm going to ask her if that was okay. Today has really been today has really been not my favorite since we got home. I threw my greasy hair up and we got a email from our Satillo tile place. We're having tile made in Mexico for the master bathroom pantry, mud room, and powder bath. And it was a huge splurge, took over 12 weeks, made in Mexico, just shipped to the United States. Well, the company that we ordered it from, their quality control department sent us a photograph and said, we don't think this is gonna work. We wanted your opinion. And it is terrible, y'all. I mean, it looks awful. It looks like I went in the backyard and got some of our clay dirt and went to town. So, of course, we said, no, we don't want that. Um, but now it's like, what do we do? Because we're going to move in at the end of August. And that's a huge portion of our flooring. So, also, we signed a contract with them. We've already paid them in full. So we just don't know how it's all gonna pan out. Like literally we both felt teary-eyed about it. Like how can there be one more problem? So I put on my pajama pants, kept printing, and was like, okay, Lord, <laughs> you know, I don't know what to do. I can't control this. So they're gonna call us back tomorrow. Apparently they have another shipment leaving Mexico. They're gonna take photographs of that. And if we agree to it, it should be here within two weeks. So if we don't like it, which I don't know why we wouldn't, like why would all their tile be yucky? Like I don't understand why we wouldn't like it. So that would solve the problem. If not, we'll just do the brick flooring everywhere else. Okay, so you can see behind me, the mason was here. Let me turn the camera around. Y'all, you can see it's kind of, um, for me, because we've lived it and just know what could have been and what could have happened, just seeing how black the fire and smoke made this white thing. There you are. You scared me. What are you doing in the house? I was looking at it. Dad said you can look at it, so I can look at it. Okay. Yeah, so I was just saying that. It's look how black this rock was, Esme, from the fire. So we had a lot of brick around the door and they, to, because they were gonna have a hard time matching it, are gonna do all of the Austin stone all the way around and our new door will be square. Okay, let's see what they did. Okay. So I think since I filmed last, they had only done the ceiling and the top crown molding. So they did the baseboards throughout and the door frame. I know again, the lighting is terrible, but you can tell. So they haven't painted the wall yet, but that's progress. Let's see if it goes Oh, they started spraying my doors, y'all. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
Yeah, they look really, really clean. Well, have they painted them? I think they just primed them because that is not the trim color. Okay, so they didn't make it this far. Okay, they haven't done in here. That's okay. Priming is important. Okay, I see my mom's car. She's just pulling up. Okay. Well, not much. Not much, y'all. They did the closets in here. Okay. Well, we're, we're getting there. Slow and steady, right? I think I showed this in the last video. I couldn't remember the Jade Dragon. It's the next day. Um, we ended up going to bed right at nine, like lights out asleep. We were both so just overwhelmed and stressed by the tile and having to try to figure that out. Um, we did decide that if they don't um, come through today that we're just gonna do the brick that we're doing, like do a brick flooring that we're doing on, the same brick on the fireplace and in the backsplash to just keep it simple. So hopefully today we'll bring good news that our tile, there's more tile to be sent to us and all will be well, but if not, we're just moving on. I got my mailbox and air filters and I just dropped Esme off at work. Um, Evan has speech therapy in about an hour, so I'm gonna head home, get him dressed, get him ready to see Miss Stacy, and then hopefully, I've got one of those days where I'm running the kids everywhere. Um, Lizzie works, and then I've gotta pick up Esme, and then I've gotta go back and pick up Lizzie. Brian's gonna take the kids driving tonight. All three of them are trying to get their license, so we're trying a few times a week to get them on the road, get them practicing. Um, so in between all that time, I'm gonna get this video edited and posted, finish finalizing some homeschool um, orders that I need to make and print, 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 as long as my printer will <laughs> keep going. Um, this is our, today and tomorrow are our last weekdays until we start school on Monday. Um, so I'm trying to work with Evan a little bit I've got some things to print out for him. I'm doing like a visual schedule, so should be a busy day. Thankfully, we have um, tacos left over from a couple days ago for lunch, and then I made that huge roast. Sorry, the sun is so bright. I made that huge roast last night, so I'll probably pull it apart, and we'll have like a French dip sandwich or something. I'll probably need to pick up some special bread or something for that, but so I don't have to cook much today. So that's a huge blessing. All right, friends. Well, thanks for watching. We will hopefully see you in a day or two in another video. I'm trying to start to push them out. So thank you. It helps us to, um, if y'all, obviously if you watch our vlogs, but if you give this video a thumbs up, I've actually been reading just more about, you know, how to grow our channel and that really helps us. And of course, if you share our vlog or share this video, that definitely helps us. So thank you for supporting our family um, and we will see you real soon. Have a blessed day, bye-bye.